Hello, everybody. Welcome back to our second evening of the Friday Night Spotlight on Pirate Pictures, right here on TCM. My name's Greg Proops. I'm a professional comedian, and as your coxswain, I'll be steering this ship all month over Davy Jones' locker. Our first picture tonight brims with excitement, danger, and showmanship, just like its star, Burt Lancaster. From Warner Brothers in 1952, it's the Crimson Pirate. Burt stars in the title role as the leader of a seedy band of cutthroats and soon finds himself in the middle of a revolution on a Caribbean island. Lancaster was the star of the Crimson Pirate, but unlike most other stars of pirate pictures, this month, only Lancaster came to the pirate milieu thoroughly prepared for buckling his swash and everybody else's. He was a trained acrobat, courtesy of his early days working in a circus. He was good enough to make it look easy as he swings and somersaults through ship's riggings, always with that million dollar grin that should have been insured by Lloyd's of London. In second billing is Bert's old friend and real life circus partner, Nick Cravat. You can certainly tell these men are used to catching each other in daring mid-air leaps. They operate with the smooth give and take of men who spent years relying on each other to be there to catch them before they fall. The villains really don't have a chance against these two because Cravat's character is mute. It was thought that he really was mute, but actually it's just very difficult to make a believable pirate speaking with a thick Brooklyn accent. Gee. Lancaster and Cravat made ten films together. And with these two barrel rolling from stem to stern, you're getting a lot of bounce to the ounce. Here's Burt Lancaster, Nick Cravat, and in a tiny role, Christopher Lee in The Crimson Pirate. 